communism is the belief that young hooligans who never have read a book are best fit to rule a country. Its proponents are schoolyard outcasts, scarecrows, sadists, seenable, but foot Iranians, men with curved penises, tall people who want to fuck midgets, 13 year old boys, and people who were relatively poor in their childhood. Invented by Karl Marx last Thursday, communism is the final form of liberalism, the arch nemesis of capitalism and some people say is the reason why America is one and why the rest of the world sucks. Under communism, there is no need for money, because all goods needed to support life are free. Which by free means you never actually get what you need and the bastards at the party bathe in your hard earned cash. This is why communism failed everybody ultimately loves money. Communism was first theorized with the bricklit convoluted multi-volume communist manifesto, which was written by Karl Marx at least 100 years ago. It led to two paradigms we have today writing to long didn't read texts and the tradition of economists to tell incomprehensible lies and flavor them with arcane math. Enough is enough. I have had it with the smithafucking bourgeoisie to sin the mythafucking proletariat. Lenin on the purpose of his life in general. The only good communist is a dead communist with its dick cut off. Lenin first turned communism into practice by establishing circle jerks known as Soviets throughout Russia Soviet is Russian for council. He feigned his death and got replaced by a pretty cool guy known as Stalin, who turned everything into a dictatorship. When Lenin comes back, he will start a society consisting of real communism as opposed to the one that has been practiced in Afghanistan, Albania, Angola, Benin, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Bulgaria, Cambodia, China, Cuba, Congo, Croatia, Czechoslovakia, Ethiopia, Germany, Hungary, Kosovo, Laos, Macedonia, Mongolia, Montenegro, Mozambique, North Korea, Poland, Romania, Russia, Serbia, Slovenia, Somalia, Yemen and Vietnam. Theory. Theoretical communism is the natural conclusion of Christian doctrine that suggests in an unregulated economic system of nearly infinite goods production. Everyone will play fair and never ask for more or ever, and God disappears because we have nothing to pray for. This differs from the fake Christianity of W and Sarah Palin where if you hate the Jew, God rewards you with gold and power. This new religion is obviously an extension of Judaism and will never become perfected into the final stage of man known as communism, rather everyone will just digress into meth and hookers. Karl Marx was so furious that his rich Jew parents did not leave their colonial estate and they will to him which was tended by mud races for him to deliciously mouth rape. He used communism to troll lower class factory workers into spamming the ruling class for more money. Commies got IRL ban hammered all over Europe when Germany helped arm the great October socialist revolution in World War I to remove the imperial Russian military threat from their eastern front so they could relocate those soldiers to curb stomp France. After killing anarchist heathens and winning Adolf Hitler, the commies felt so validated that they haven't shut the fuck up since. Communism is the most amazing religion ever because it is based upon the ideology that everyone is equal. However, it has been mathematically proven that white people, women, Asians, Jews, niggers African comrades, fags, Scientologists, jugglers, furries, homosexual Scientologist furry jugalo niggers, Scottish people, the Welsh, the Irish, the vast majority of adherents to communism are not only gay losers, but also pedos. All pedos love children. Russians love vodka. Therefore, Russians are children. How to tell who is a communist? Communists are actually quite easy to identify. They will almost certainly wear a scarf with Palestinian symbols on it, so any person seen sporting any other colors is definitely not a communist. Typical communists come in three flavors. The first kind are the middle class college uni students majoring in political science, liberal arts, modern studies or some such shit, made obvious by their world weary expressions, pretension, arrogance and distaste for anything they deem unintellectual. They'll be members of the Socialist Worker Student Society SWSS if they are Britfags. Secondarily, they will be dressed with Palestinian symbols are we sensing a pattern, old, disheveled and will almost always be smokers likely roll ups. They will cough a lot and talk about building the party. They will get very angry when discussing their houses which are falling apart as they have no money and live at rallies for job growth. Finally, the teenage communists. They can be seen on Facebook, MySpace, no one does that shit anymore, Instagram, Google, DeviantArt and Twitter joining groups with less than 500 members or pointing to communist flags. They usually don't know what the fuck they are talking about and are in the process of looking for another way to piss off their fascist, consumerist parents. 
Lols, everyone knows that real communists have facial hair, even females. Thus you have to first hit puberty to be a communist. Usually hate Jews or everything related to Israel. Also keep comparing Israelis to Nazis while ignoring that gays are executed in Arab or Islamic countries. They are sometimes of Jewish descent, but hate being reminded of that and call themselves citizens of the world. If Red Alert 3 has taught us one thing it is that Tim Curry is also a communist. Possibly the only true communist left in the world, even if he has the worst Russian accent ever. Communist. Gay and emo? We have a winner. Famous last words. Practical communism is defined as the economic system, faithfully represented by Joseph Stalin, in which the government owns everything and the government is owned by people who make your life hell. This makes it possible for the government to ban the game Monopoly. Anyone found with said board game will be sent to the gulags for a education. The last words Stalin said before he died were inevitably I did it for the lulz. History and leadership. Few realize that the current president of communism is John Lenin, winning 18 consecutive unanimous elections. Though Marx holds the copyright on communism, many credit Lenin with its distribution and popularity. Groucho Marx was also a strong proponent of communism in the 80s with his hatred-filled diary Endless Summer Nights. In 1917, Lenin downloaded a hacked version of communism off Kazaa and copied it to some floppy disks Blu-ray hadn't been invented yet with some other snazzy programs like Bangzai Buddy and Mac OS. When he offered the disks on eBay for 5 cents a pop, it became an instant hit. Spreading across nations like China and Soviet Union which thought they were simply buying a picture of Fonzie from Happy Days straddling the crack smoker from the Dell commercials. When Marx found a copy of the disc, he summoned the Raya and sued Lenin for copyright infringement, more commonly known as sharing. After some convincing testimony, Marx agreed to settle for 231 and an apologetic kiss on the cheek. Though many rumors have been spread hinting that Lenin might have died, they are highly unverified and have come from questionable sources. Sexual practice. Hepkerton, a well-known supporter of groups with communist agendas, often dresses herself in erotic latex versions of communist uniforms. This is seriously a hot and more people should do it. Jesutix also believes in the tenets of communism, as he was too young when the Soviet Union fell to realize how shitty it was. The typical communist. The typical communist is a 13-year-old boy who has never paid a cent of tax in his life, other than with his parents' money. He doesn't trust the government but somehow wants the government to be in charge of every facet of society. Wears a Che Guevara t-shirt and a USSR pin, both purchased from Hot Topic for $75. Let's not forget that when our little communist buys China-made imports at places like Hot Topic, he's sucking capitalism's cock. Thinks the entire human populace can effectively share all their resources to end poverty. Most of these can be found on Wikipedia, DeviantArt and YouTube. When anything is criticized about communism, a typical 13-year-old boy's reply will be well lickedly hasn't been done right yet exclamation point 11 inches. Usually hypocritical with previous evidence of said boy sucking Marx's, Engels, Lenin's and Stalin's cocks in screensavers or banners. They will usually hate Nazis and purely with a passion but do not seem to mind the fact communism won at least 100 people. 97% of the Galian populace is made of commies. The other 3% consists of socialist, though, similar to Wikipedia or Deviant or any other site in the interwebs, nobody has the slightest fuck of what it is. Non-juvenile communists, namely those making up the communist voting base and party officials, are mostly crusty, old ex-hippies who, unlike their counterparts who are now CSO companies, flunked out of college and are now working exactly 40 hours a week Marx help you if they should work a second of overtime at the box factory or some other lame manufacturing sector job. This is usually to get more time off work to campaign, write gay zines, and be the token creepy old people at punk rock shows. Benefits. A communist government is better equipped to fight zombies. Bribery does not exist due to the absence of money except in the form of prostitution. Those who shit themselves will not feel alone since everyone will feel like they are having a butt plug in their ass 24 stroke 7. Although the final boss of the internet has not been determined, it has been determined that the Soviet Union was the final boss of Irol. Since the defeat of the Soviet Union, the world has jumped the shark. A society without cocktees. A society without the black eyed peas. A society without Dane Cook. A society without Comic Song. No music channel which shows more butt fucking teen werewolves than music. 
But no, for me, I really do think you have to be a mental to be a communist. It just doesn't make much sense. It doesn't factor in, like, human corruption, and it's been tried so many times. And, like, you know, everyone says, but no, if they just did it my way, you know what I mean? Like, you know, it's like, oh, my God, I'm sure you've heard it yourself. But no, if there are actually any communists watching, I would love to get you on. Like, you know, um, something similar to what I did with Darbo, the furry. Like, you know, just come on for a live stream, um, sit and have a wee drink, and, like, explain to me what it's all about. Because it's something that I don't personally get. I like to think that, like, you know, people believe in things themselves. Like, I don't think everyone's just stupid that thinks differently. I really don't. And a lot of people do think that. But I like to think, like, no, people think these things and feel these things for genuine reasons. And I, I always wanted to try and understand that a wee bit better. So if you're interested in it, definitely come on and get in contact with me. I think it could be a lot of fun. But no, as always, I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, links down below. I would definitely recommend checking out the Patreon because you don't want the commies to win on this front, now, do you? But no, as always, I hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. If you haven't already, check out my Redbubble portfolio. You might just find something you like. This, this is, is not okay. This needs to stop now. This is cancer. This. This is so much cancer that I can feel the tumors growing on my back. And it's way down heavy on me, and it's not okay. Can you help a nigga out and just stop this? Please?